All right, we're going to go over what a token is in relation to generative AI taking text and turning it into the numbers that it actually uses to train and eventually learn what to do. So we're using this interface called the Tick Tokenizer. And what you're going to see here, what is the cost of token? Organization. So on the left hand side, we're inputting our text, and then you're seeing on the right hand side, it's actually breaking up the individual pieces of that sentence into individual tokens, individual numbers. But that's not all. Depending on what the base encoder that we end up using, that can end up changing what the actual cost is and whether or not it's a embedding model or a tokenizer or a large language model. And no surprise, these models end up working better with English than other languages. But the major takeaway is when you have data, you first need to tokenize that data and there are a lot of choices in terms of that. And then you have to take those tokens and also have embeddings. So you have an embedding model to be able to then make the actual multidimensional representations known as vectors that go into the model for actual training. As it's not magic, it's effectively just math. 